You don't need me to tell you that Deontay Wilder is not facing Anthony Joshua, but we don't really know the reasons why. Now, I think the reason why is that Deontay Wilder does not want to lose that O on his record. Floyd Mayweather broke the records and became 50 and O, 50 wins and 0 defeats, 0 draws. Deontay Wilder said he wanted to beat that. He cannot beat that record now because he has a draw on his record. He can still go the rest of his career undefeated by facing mediocre opponents and cherry picking his way through the heavyweight division, which he has done his whole career. So there would be no surprise if he continued to do that for the rest of his career. A lot of people expect Deontay Wilder to become undisputed champion and a lot of people want him to do it. He still has fans. Some of them have switched over to Anthony Joshua. In light of recent activities, him tearing down a 100 million deal to fight Anthony Joshua, of course 20 million of that was to fight Dominic Brazil, but still, it was a hefty offer and he turned it down nonetheless. So a lot of people have switched over to Anthony Joshua because they just don't see how Deontay Wilder can be turning down this amount of money and the great opportunity to not fight Anthony Joshua. So I mean they are understanding now that Anthony Joshua has wanted this fight, he has always wanted this fight, the legacy fight, but Deontay Wilder doesn't. So how long can Deontay Wilder keep up this charade? To be honest I mean he's got fans, he's got loyal fans and to be honest I just don't think they want to be proved wrong. So they're just sticking behind Deontay Wilder because they have talked a lot and if they all of a sudden stop backing Deontay Wilder then they are being proven wrong and they don't want that and his management team they most certainly do not want this fight. I mean they've been in boxing long enough to know that Deontay Wilder does not beat Anthony Joshua. If they box 10 times maybe Deontay Wilder lands the punch once but at the other 9 times Anthony Joshua wins. We all know that and Deontay Wilder's team know it. They're not saying that to Deontay Wilder of course they are backing him but they are trying to steer him away from that fight. I don't think Deontay Wilder wants this fight, but his team don't want it even more than him. He should be steered towards this fight, the legacy fight, the defining fight of his career, but he's being pushed away from it. He needs the encouragement, he needs to be pushed into this fight, he needs someone backing him who says he can do it. But to be honest, I think they're saying, yeah, you can do it, you could beat him, but let's go this way instead, let's go in this direction. Keep the WBC champion on PBC and Showtime, keep him in mediocre fights and just get him to 50-0. Or possibly just keep him going for as long as they can and keep making money out of him. Because they just want him on their platform. They don't care about making the Anthony Joshua fight. They don't care about legacy. Deontay Wilder has said himself it's not about the belts anymore. It is about the splits. It's about the money. But to be honest, I mean he's been offered plenty of money already. So why has he turned that down? It's not about the money. It's not about the belts. So what is it about? It's just about keeping that WBC World Championship, being World Champion and staying on Showtime and Fox. That is all that matters to Al Heyman and Shelley Finkel. And now Deontay Wilder, he has been brainwashed. He didn't want this fight anyway, and now he has been pushed away from it further by Shelley Finkel and by Al Heyman, his advisors. They're supposed to be advising him, managing him, helping him through his career, and giving him encouragement, saying that he can win the fight. But what they are actually doing is acting as promoters, trying to make as much money off of Deontay Wilder as they can, and keep him on a certain platform, and that platform being Showtime. Because PBC have a lot of money tied up with Showtime, and they don't want to see that go to waste because other than Deontay Wilder, who have they got? To be honest, I think they need Deontay Wilder and they need the WBC World Championship on that platform. But guys, what are your thoughts on this? The politics of the game these days, the politics that are stopping these big fights from happening and the promoters who act as managers and advisors behind the fighters in their ear telling them they shouldn't be taking these fights. You know who I'm talking about, namely Shelley Finkel, Al Heyman, in Deontay Wilder's ear telling him he should not take the Anthony Joshua fight when Deontay Wilder didn't want it anyway but he is being persuaded by his management team he should not be taking this fight. Please drop your thoughts in the comments below, please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.